Hey everybody, it's your girl B Cubed, and if you notice, I am now blonde. It's an interesting thing, I'm trying to get used to it. If you follow me on Snapchat, you realize that I have these random segments where I'll do random things. Sometimes I have this thing where I do a segment called Fucked Up Fairy Tale. And what it is, is I explain to you the origin stories of the beautiful stories that we've grown up with, especially from Walt Disney. There's no version of Cinderella. Her mother dies, her father remarries to an awful, awful woman who has two stepdaughters. The father dies, so then she's stuck with the mother. And she's like, I want to go to the ball, they go to the ball, and her fairy, fairy godmother gives her a suit, she goes to the ball, runs away, prince finds the shoe, finds her, falls in love, the end. The original version of Cinderella goes something like this. Still in Darla and her, she's all happy with her two parents, her mother and her father. Her mother passes away, and her father remarries to this awful woman with her beautiful stepdaughter. Her, she has beautiful daughters, but they're evil. The best up part about this story is he is still alive and still allows them to treat his daughter like complete and utter shit. So the dad's like, I'm gonna go into town, what do you bitches want? If the stepdaughters are like, I want diamonds, the other one's like, I want a dress. And Cinderella, of course, because she's all pure and soul, is like, I want the first stick that brushes against thy hat when you're walking on your way to the to the market father. So he's like, all right, bitch. He gets the stepdaughters what they asked for, and when he's like walking, he accidentally hits a twig that breaks off, and so he's like, Psh, save me some money. So he picks up the twig, goes back to the place, gives it to his daughter. So the daughter's like, the daughter's like, oh yeah, I got my shit. And so the brother's like, I shall plant it on my mother's grave. So she plants the stick on her mother's grave, and she cries and cries and cries, in which the magical sadness of her tears causes a tree to grow. Just magically, a whole tree that takes many, many years to grow, it just sprouts up, right? Like in the original version, the prince has to have a ball in which he has to find a bride. Except this ball is three days. So, and so the stepsisters are like, oh, we going. And so they're like, we got to get far. Like, girl, I'm going to find me a man. So Cinderella's like, oh, I want to go. And the mother's like, no. So basically Cinderella, she's she keeps asking her and asking her, like, can I please go? Can I please go? Can I please go? Finally... The stepmom's like, all right, this is what I'm gonna do. So she throws this bucket of lentils into ashes. And lentils are beans, just so you know. She's like, if you can pick out these lentils out of this ash, and in two hours, I'll let you go to the ball. Well, Cinderella can speak to birds and shit, like Fiona from Shrek. So she's like, ah, 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 ah. And the birds pick out all the lentils from the ashes, so she gives it to her mom, and she's like, look, look, I did it! And she's like, mmm, yeah, shit, how? So then she's like, alright, alright, alright. If you pick out the lentils from this in an hour, I'll let you go. So she throws them back in there, so Cinderella's like, ha, 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 And then the birds, of course, get the lentils out. So Cinderella goes to her stepmom, and she's like, look, look, I did it! And she's like, bitch, I was never gonna let you go. Like, seriously? So Cinderella goes out to the tree, and she's crying, and she's like, I just want to go to the ball. <laughs> and so a magical fairy comes out of the tree, and then they, they give her this beautiful dress. So on the first night of the ball, she goes to the ball, and she's dancing with the prince, and then at the stroke of midnight, stroke of midnight he's like, I want you to stay. She's like, no, 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 no. So she runs, and she runs into a bird coop, and the prince is like, well, I don't know why, but she's in that bird coop. He's like, cut it down. And they cut the bird coop down, but she was already gone. Because I don't know, somehow she got out of there. Second night, she goes, everyone's gone off to the ball. Her sister's her mother. And Cinderella is like, she goes up to the tree and she's like, Three, throw me down my dress so I can go to the ball. So it throws her down a dress even more beautiful than before. So she goes to the ball where she dances with the prince only. The prince won't dance with anyone else. Struck at midnight. She's like, I gotta go. So she runs away. And this time he's like chasing her. So she runs into a pear tree. And he's like, that bitch is in the tree. I don't know how she's in the tree, but she's in the tree. They cut the tree down. But Cinderella had already snuck out of the other side of the trip, other side of the tree because she's a nimble little minx. And runs home before anybody knows any different. And just so you know, she has to lay the dress onto her mother's grave and and the tree magically sucks it back up. So on the last night, she goes up to the tree and she's like, please throw me down my magical dress. And they do, and it's beautiful. It's made of solid gold. Her shoes are made of solid gold. It's just beautiful. Or, you know, gold-ish material, because gold is quite heavy. So she goes to the ball and the prince is like, this time I got this bitch. Because when she decides to leave, he had just laid fresh pitch is what it's called in the story, but really it's just tar for those of us who don't know what the hell pitch is. So she's like, ah, nigga, ah. She's like running and her shoe gets stuck. And so she's like, oh, God damn it. So she's just running away. She runs away. She goes back to the house. So the prince is like, man, I got her shoe. He's like, I'm going to find out who this is and I'm going to marry her. So 
somehow there's not this whole story of him running around to different houses and trying it on different people. He literally just shows up at Cinderella's house. And he's like, present thy maidens to try on the shoe. So the mom is like, yeah, 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 we'll try on the shoe. Just, you know, let me take it inside. Put it on my daughter's shoe. I'll be right back. So she goes inside and the first daughter tries it on. So she's trying to put it on and her toe won't fit though. So the mom's like, bitch, just cut off your toe because when you're royalty, you'll never have to walk again anyway. So she cuts off her toe. She walks out and she's like, oh look, it fits upon my foot. And he's like, yes, yes, I found my bride. So he takes her, he gets on the horse and there are these snitch ass birds. The ones that I guess don't speak English when they're snitching on somebody. They were like, Kaka, kaka, look at her foot, nigga, kaka, it's bleeding. So he's like, bitch, no, who, no. So he goes and takes her back home and he's like, do you got somebody else in the house? Because obviously he can't see and he's just gone off of a shoe. The mom's like, yeah, I got another daughter. Let me just, let me just go back inside. The daughter puts it on, it fits on her toes, but it won't fit over her heel. She's like, once you're a prince or once you're a queen, you'll never have to walk again. So she cuts off her heel. And she goes out to the prince. She said, look, he looked it so fit so daintily upon my foot. And he's like, oh, great, let's go. Come on, let's go. I'm ready to get married. Again, the snitch-ass birds are like, Kaka, are you stupid? Look, she's bleeding. Like, it's bleeding all over the place. And so he's like, god damn it. Do you not have it. any other daughters? And they're like, no, 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 no. He's like, are you sure? And the dad's like, oh, just like my disfigured daughter from my previous marriage. And I'm like, whoa. What an they had like cleaned her up and everything like that and then she puts on the shoe and it fits and he's like oh, he can finally tell that that's Cinderella and he's like oh you're the woman I dance with all night you're my beautiful bride and so basically he marries Cinderella and the sisters who are trying to get favor with her want to walk with her on her wedding day so as they're walking down the aisle the snitch ass bergs pick out their left eye and then when they're walking back down the aisle, they pick out their right eye, thus blinding them for the evil that they've caused Cinderella, and thus they will never get to see again. The end. That is the awful, awful version of what Cinderella is. Now let me tell you, it still ends out pretty good, right? The princess still makes out pretty okay. Not so much for the Little Mermaid. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. I hope you guys enjoyed that knowledge, and I hope that I've inspired you to go out and do your research on all the crazy Disney stories out there and their origins. I come out with a new video every Monday. If you've already subscribed, I love you. If you haven't subscribed, you're totally subscribed because I'm awesome. I hope to see you guys back here next week. It's your girl, Be Cute. I'm out.